Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I need to retest the aerodynamics of the Shinkansen space plane, verify that it can actually fly, and we will do that off of the shuttle runway available through real launch sites and Kerbal constructs. And the reason I need to retest it is because I have changed the engines. Previously it had the ED4 engines, now we have the ED8. Uh, the ED8s are lighter and therefore change the sort of center of mass of the whole thing and also have different efficiency but that's not relevant to our flight test here uh, but yes so the balance of the whole thing is different air testing the Shinkansen space plane is always difficult because it has a very dramatic change to its center of mass and center of lift if it has more fuel this also causes problems for aborts we're gonna have it at this level. There's also RCS fuel in the nose, but you have to remember that the way I made this is with uh, separate tanks. See, the tanks are a separate part, and actually the vertical stabilizers and the engines there are attached, and the landing gear are currently attached to the engine uh, part rather than the body of the spacecraft. But yes, given that uh, the mass, center of mass tends to change quite a lot when we fill it up and of course it would not be able to fly like that but we don't expect it to need to fly like that uh, by the time it's coming back down into the atmosphere it should be uh, at this level of fuel and not too much more and hopefully it can uh, function like that it's also got fuel in the nose for the forward RCS as mentioned before and that should drain at the same rate as the stuff in the back and the center mass and at that point should not change too much hopefully so we are going to see if this works at all or not and let's take it out to the runway and find out we're going to do it uncrewed so empty command chairs this is the pass through one so it's got command chairs instead of um, an actual cabin an IVA cabin uh, okay it's got some bounciness but not too bad I'm going to use uh, the atmospheric autopilot and we'll just throttle to a minimum here. Ignition. Because we don't need a whole lot of throttle with this. But you probably gotta lift off very quickly. Hopefully. I thought about putting canards, but it's probably... Okay, there we go. Oh, that's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, okay. Well, retracting landing gear is probably too hopeful. Crawl down as much as possible. I don't really want to. Oh, oh, oh! It doesn't like. Oh, oh, oh! See, now that's not good. <laughs> uh, I didn't really want to go trans uh, supersonic, and we were just there at supersonic. What actually exploded there? Mm, something failed due to aerodynamic stress. I have no idea. Okay. Problem is. I don't know how to sort of keep our thrust. Maybe we can, but the the vacuum OMS engines aren't going to work down here. I could replace the main engines with jet engines, but it's annoying because then we have to put air intakes. All right, well, let's just, well, I can lift off, but, you know, there are other things to test. Doesn't have a whole lot of fuel. Lifting off is not exactly a requirement for this sort of thing. Maybe if we go pitch up higher so it doesn't go so fast, it'll be good. We'll get more altitude to work with. Okay, I don't want to do any more with that. Let's see. Now turn. Turn carefully. Probably will have to reignite the engines soon.
Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Okay, well, it sort of stalled out right there. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, I lost something. Oh, I lost more things. How, how many things do I have that I can lose? I guess those are the control surfaces. Jeez. They all don't indicate what they are. Yeah, our fuel tanks are still in there. Okay. Don't know what to think about the stuff ripping off when we go past the speed of sound. I mean, I guess it's just being used too strenuously, but, you know, they're space plane control surfaces. They're not supposed to rip off like that so easily. You would think. Oh, oh, we got a bounce. Ah, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh, wow, okay, that's weird. Okay, no, that's not good. No. Uh. Oh, I didn't have atmospheric god pilot on. I didn't have any sort of SAS, and this is the kind of thing you want a fly-by-wire system for. Okay, okay. Yes, fly-by-wire is necessary. There's no free-flying this thing. Has either SAS, a smart ASS, or something. Or atmospheric autopilot. Okay. Oh, don't pull up too much. At least not immediately. Obviously, with it being as light as it is, the engines are providing a lot of thrust. Okay. Oh, shoot. We ripped off two of the <laughs> control surfaces. Well, we have the other two. Oh, that's not good enough. Hmm. They really need to be a little bit stronger for us here. I don't approve of these control surfaces ripping off so easily. Maybe we need to limit their control authority? I don't know. The engines can't be hitting them. The engines don't have that much gimbal. They're smaller now than they used to be because they're stage combustion instead of gas generator now. Oh, let's remember to uh, fly by wire. Okay, let's just shut it off and try and be careful this time. Very, very careful about how we control this. Oh, no, that's too much roll. Oh. Um. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah. This plane does not like to do roll very much. Well, we just made an Immelman or something like one. And that's because of its shape. It doesn't do roll super well. Uh, okay. Oh, it's going... Uh, that's less roll than it had before. I swear last time it had more roll. Uh-oh. Oh, well, vapor and feed lines. Well, I can't do too much about that. It's not showing the fuel being unsettled on those icons, though. Hmm. Guess it gets unsettled along the way. I don't know if this is very successful or not. I mean, on the one hand, it lifting off is a positive. On the other hand, 
it uh, subsequently spinning out of control is definitely a negative. So, uh, to be honest, uh, Shinkansen was never the best aircraft design that I've ever done. <laughs> it's just, it's just not. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe that's not the worst thing. And uh, as it drains, then again, uh, it'll drain from the back and from these tanks at the same time. It gets like that, but that's still sort of all right. Maybe I can move the center mass further up or something. So that's it completely drained. We weren't there yet. Uh, we were somewhere between what originally showed and that, so... I mean, with jet engines, maybe it'll be easier, but that's completely different anyway. Of course, on re-entry, that's a whole other thing. As far as what Far has to say, let's let's put the little bit back into the tanks. So, firmer space research. Um, at really low speeds, it's uh, the angle of attack. We know it's not good at getting off the ground at low speeds, but at 134 meters per second, it shows that it's all happy, as we saw. And at Mach 1 at 5 kilometers, it's still all happy. What about Mach 1 at 0? It still it says it's all happy, I don't know. Um, so Mach 2 at 5 kilometers, Mach 2 at 10 kilometers. I mean, I'm not out of my mind or anything. Uh, Mach 3 at 15 kilometers, which we have not reached. It's got a little bit of a pitch issue. Yeah, 20 kilometers, still a little bit. That's one reason why I was thinking about a tiny little canard might be good. Because the pitch authority of the controls, the body flap in the back, that's not great anyway. Or we start, uh, but... Fair mirror space always overdoes. That's the rudder and vertical stabilizer. It always overdoes that, though. It always wants more than I think we need, and it's uh, what I have tested that we seem to need. But it's a mild bit of rudder issue or vertical stabilizer issue and a mild bit of pitch issue that we end up having. Nothing like what we just saw. So, you know... Let's hope. Uh, oh, at that point, we've got... I mean, it's not going to be able to fly. Uh, that's fine. At that point, it still should be nose up and hitting the atmosphere as if it's a pod or something, you know, like the shuttle does. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, next up, we are going to test out the stack because launching it as it normally launches with the carrier plane, we need to make sure that still works given the new engines, so on to the VAB. Okay, so here we are, and we've got the new engines on, so especially on the carrier plane side, they look rather small by comparison. Again, the stage combustion engines make it so that the same amount of thrust can come from a physically smaller engine, and anyway, we had five before, we have five now, it's just they have a lot more space between them. Uh, the carrier planes model is the original model of the Shinkansen. I haven't bothered to change it, uh, and uh, it's sort of deliberately sort of like that because it's lighter than the, of course, fully heat-protected uh, space plane version. But yeah, we are going to see how this works out. There's some trade-offs here. Uh, yes, the engines are now lighter, but they are somewhat less efficient uh, in certain circumstances, and that is because uh, I felt that the efficiency of the original engines, the ED4s, was a little bit too optimistic. So there's that. Uh, I've changed the mass of things a little bit, so there's that too. And yeah, we'll see. I've uh, temporarily removed the boosters. Uh, normally, the system launches with one booster on the space plane side and two on the carrier plane side. And that is because I know that previously, this system was built so tightly that it barely got to orbit. And I'm gonna see what kind of performance we get. I think the vertical stabilizers on this side are just too big. But who knows, maybe this side it's too small. Uh, for now, we're just interested in getting to orbit. I've redone the script as far as I can tell I need to, uh, so that 
hopefully it will work properly and we will have KOS launch it because otherwise it's going to be really hard to control it. So let's see, let's see what happens without any crew. Uh, the runway test was not exactly the most successful thing ever. We'll see how this goes. We're launching from Boca Chica and that is because I have been doing things here. So it's just convenient. Uh, this is the install with Principia, by the way. Uh, SAS probably I don't even need to activate. Mm, yeah, let me just make sure that the console, because they're both they both say Shinkansen. I'll open the con I'll open the terminal on the space plane side. Otherwise, it won't be good. Edit Shinkansen to make sure I have the latest edits. Its initial thrust weight ratio is not actually 1.2. That's a contrivance to make sure it goes steeply first. Might not be the most optimal thing, uh, but maybe for drag it is. It starts off with a thrust weight ratio of 1.47 without the boosters, so that's pretty strong. Uh, I do, uh, and one of the complications, there's two complications here. First of all, the whole fuel cross-feeding thing. And the second one is that the space plane has the extendable nozzles so that it gets better specific impulse than this is currently reading right now um, and we have good thrust weight ratio the question is 8763 doesn't sound like enough but with those extendable nozzles maybe it is it'll extend those at a certain altitude I think 15 kilometers that's already baked into the KOS script so let's see okay ignition Okay, all right, uh, well, they'll be able to hold it. It's not using all of the pitch authority. It could straighten up a little bit better. I don't know why it's reluctant to use more of that. We're, we're not supposed to be going this way. Anyway, eventually as the carrier plane gets lighter, the thrust from the engines will force it straight. There we go. And then we'll proceed on eastward, hopefully. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. We have a little bit of a thrall down to reduce stress, and we don't need all the acceleration right now anyway. We're sort of deviating to the south a bit for some reason. We're, we're not supposed to. <laughs> uh, it might be, maybe I put the engines a little bit imbalanced? I don't know. Tried to get them right. It is very finicky. It's extended the vacuum nozzles on the, not the ED7, ED8 vacuums. Those. So now it's getting the full specific impulse and everything. And progressively the carrier plane's gonna turn off some engines in order to maintain the ba balance. You'll see the pitch getting closer and closer to being maxed out. And, well, there we go. We turned off two. Those are the other ones. And then it helped the pitch a little bit, but now it's still going. As this side gets lighter, we need to turn more engines off to maintain balance. I think it might be worthwhile to go steeper first. Might have to change things up a little bit. I don't like that it's flattening out right now. And we've maxed out pitch. Yeah, we just barely turn those off in time. I think it would have gone out of control just a little bit later. Now it's just one engine on on the side, the center engine. Not a whole lot of time to apoapsis. And off goes the carrier plane. Now if we gotta recover that, I mean it's still... it's not very far out. And not very high either. It's not even in space yet. Maybe we don't want such a vigorous decoupling either. But there's not a whole lot in the Gulf of Mexico. If we're launching from Boca Chica, there's not a whole lot of place in the Gulf of Mexico for it to line up. Maybe it can make a left turn to like Mobile or something like that. Maybe that's possible. Turning around probably isn't. Oh, I guess Mobile will be overshooting. Maybe just Houston. Maybe you can do a left turn into Houston, yeah. That that makes sense. 
if it can do that. I don't know. That will be a whole other thing. Now, can this get where it needs to go? That Delta V reading is obviously wrong. I think it's... hold on. Uh, no, it's not helping. Maybe this number is more right? I don't think so, though. What does MechJib have to say? 5,100. So far, that's, I mean, that's doable, but we still need to go higher, so we're gonna lose some to that. Yeah, Shinkansen is probably the most finicky thing. And that's because it's sort of a unified system. So anytime you change anything, everything has to be tested together again. So we're expecting it to just barely make orbit again. In that case, uh, engine swap didn't help or hurt. If we have some extra, then it helped. If it can't make orbit, presumably it hurt. And we'll probably still need the boost. Looking at this, we probably still need the boosters to have any payload in the bay. Okay, we have Thrall down. Well, it's still looking doable. Hmm, hopefully it'll pitch down enough. Let's take the surface view. We're pitched down a little bit. Trying to control that vertical speed here. The trajectory could do with some work. Back to orbital and periapsis. Okay, well, normal shutdown. 108 meters per second to spare. Not a lot. So, anyway, let's sort of control ourselves here. Um, well, I guess we can try and bring it down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this... I don't know what it's going to do, but probably nothing good. Okay, ignition. Uh, well, honestly, from this altitude, that should be good enough. Okay, well, change the camera view. Try and come in. We saw that when it's empty, the center mass and center lift are pretty darn close to each other. Assuming those indicators are correct. Very little fuel to maintain control though. Well, let's take a look at our control scheme there. See whether something gets maxed out or not. Okay, we're at 100 kilometers. kilometers. I'll uh, come out of fizz warp here. And we are using some fuel. We're at 27 meters per second now, and it's using a bit of pitch authority. Uh, push down, uh, so the center of mass is a little bit too far back. Want to move it forward a little bit. Well, we're using about well, a little bit more than half our pitch authority now. So, yep, we will definitely need to fix the balance. And it's maxed out. Well, we'll see what it does, but... It's gonna run out of fuel soon. And it's well sort of pointing up. Uh I don't know, it's trying. It's trying. Roll is not a good thing. Oh, now... Uh, okay. Alright, well, anyway, as this goes out of control, uh, I will try and make fixes, of course. Uh, but it's tough with the Shinkansen. This is probably the toughest one to really figure out and nail. But anyway, the first thing will be to move the center of mass a little bit further forward and see if that helps. But as this goes its crazy way, 
I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.